Nolan Walters. I'm a professor of biology at the University of Central Florida. I have been on the faculty here for the last 12 years. And most of the research that I'm doing now is related to marine conservation. The kinds of research that I've been doing and that my, my lab does are we work on oyster reefs, on coral reefs, we work on seagrass problems, we work on mangroves, and we work on invasive species. And Sam and Sasha, two of my students that um, have been working with me as undergraduates for the last two years, are both working on one of the newest invasive species that we have in Central Florida called Mitella cheruana. Hi, I'm Sasha Brodsky, and I'm a biology major here at the University of Central Florida. I saw Dr. Walter's uh, name, and her research was in marine conservation and ecology, and I've always had a fascination with marine biology. I thought that would be a really great opportunity to learn more about it and get more involved in my major. The research project is actually being funded by the Office of Undergraduate Research, for which I applied for a grant and I was selected for funding. I started out working on a non-native aquatic mussel species, Mytella cheruana. Uh, basically there was no known research on this uh, species at all, so we started out just with the basics with physiological tolerances, and my part of the project was working on thermal tolerances. So what I found was at six degrees Celsius, they had complete and no survival whatsoever and very immediate uh, mortality as well. And um, at 13 degrees, they still had some survival. The grant was to look at the impact of marine invasive species on oyster reefs. And since I've been working on oyster reefs, they're um, biology and ecology and restoration for the last 12 years, this was a natural outgrowth of that project. So we had the background data before the invasive species came into the oyster reefs, and now we're trying to understand what's going on now that they are here. Research has affected me in a very positive way. It has built a strong foundation for my future and my career in biology. It has helped me look at my classes in a different light and not just memorizing and actually understanding and using them in an applicable way and has helped me build a confidence with myself and being more independent in solving research problems. My name is Wei Yuan and I'm a biology major here at UCF. This poster shows the two trials of salinity tarns of my telechrona, where I was able to test the adjusted and shock trials of salinity of these muscles, which currently lead to what I'm working on right now, which is interaction between temperature and salinity trials of these muscles. Being able to get involved with undergraduate research have definitely let me grow as an individual and definitely made me think more analytically about the scientific world. We have made me realize how passionate I am about research and how I wanted to continue to pursue that in my future. My name is Dr. Uh, Eric Hoffman and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biology here at UCF. One of the research projects I'm working on has to do with the genetics of, of a number of invasive species. And so we're looking at how genetic variation within uh, populations and between different populations of these species along the Florida coast, uh, how they compare with each other and how they also compare with uh, genetic diversity found in native populations. My name is Vipin Phillip. I am a uh, biology major. Dr. Eric Hoffman was actually my undergraduate uh, guidance counselor. So over the course of uh, going and sitting down with him and talking to him about my um, planning course of action for me to graduate, um, I expressed my interest in doing some research. My current research project is actually on um, an invasive species of Mytella charuana. My project actually entails um, finding genetic variation between the, uh, the different populations along the eastern coast of Florida, just trying to figure out if these populations are new populations being continuously introduced to Florida, or they just go down to really low undetectable levels during um, unfavorable conditions, and then when there's like a hurricane that comes in and that lowers the salinity, and they just pop right back up when the conditions get better. My overall experience has been great. I feel like everything I've learned over the years uh, has really set in and it, it really applied to what I was doing. The more comfortable he's been in the lab, sort of the, the more his duties have grown. So that now in addition to just going out in the field and collecting the samples, he's also extracting DNA and he's uh, doing the, the PCR to amplify the gene that we're interested in and sending that gene off to be sequenced so we can compare the genetic diversity this year with, with 
with that diversity in years past. Uh, I'm Aaron Godwin, and I'm majoring in uh, interdisciplinary studies, focusing in the life sciences and political science. Uh, I participated um, in the Summer Research Academy, which is held by the Office of Undergraduate Research every summer to help transfer students and freshmen uh, get excited and get knowledgeable about research on campus. And through that uh, opportunity, I met my research mentor, the director of the Office of Undergraduate Research, Kim Schneider, and we went from there. So uh, basically what my research is focusing on is studying the uh, growth rates and their survivorship of an invasive mussel species, Mytella gerwana. So basically what we do is collect the mussel species off the side of floating docks, and every month we go back and remeasure them each time for growth and correlate these, the temperature data and the salinity levels with our growth rates to kind of determine the um, biological limitations of the species and get a better idea of their optimal living conditions before the invasion increases and causes um, ecological and environmental impacts, specifically with regards to um, oyster reefs and oyster farming. What's really been important and what to take away from doing undergraduate research is the learning opportunity you have to increase your knowledge in a way that you wouldn't have just sitting in a classroom. I, I love working with undergraduates on research. Um, I have, I've had many wonderful masters and PhD students, but with undergraduates, what you get usually is students that are having their first research experience, and you really can't beat that. It is, it is huge in their lives if they take it personally. Um, Sam and Sasha, um, Vipin and Aaron that you talked to, they do take it personally. It is a huge part of their lives. They will schedule their vacations around their experiments. Um, you know, that sort of thing just makes you feel like you've done something really important in changing how students perceive themselves and how they perceive um, research and what they are going to end up doing for their career.